welcome to the Santos channel. All right, so today we are going to paint um, my kids' Model 64 Savage um, FXP. There's a few things that you're going to need as far as the process. Um, you're going to need to pick yourself up some paint, obviously. Um, so what I grabbed here is the uh, Rust-Oleum Camouflage uh, Paint. Uh, they do have this, I think, in six different uh, ver well, different colors. Uh, I grabbed five of them. I forget which one it was that I didn't grab, but um. So you got your standard black, and that shows it right there. And uh, let me show you this one right here. This one is the uh, Deep Forest Green. So it's darker green. Uh, I believe this one is the Army Green. Green. This is the Earth Brown. And last but not least, the good old khaki and I think uh, I remember which one I didn't pick up now I think it was the sand color the other things that I also picked up was a microfiber and this is what I'm going to use to basically wipe down the actual uh, to wipe down the rifle um, and the the greaser that I'm gonna, that I chose was uh, acetone. You can use mineral spirits. Your your aim is um, is more or less to get a lot of the grease out of the uh, the rifle, just so that the paint itself will stick. So in the next clips here, I'm gonna basically show you you know the the process of actually breaking this down so you can you can tape it up, prep it, and you know shoot it with the uh, the colors. So see you on the next clip. I'm not gonna take this off um, all these pieces in here so what I'm gonna basically do is um, just kind of tape up this bottom piece right here I'm not too worried about any any paint more or less getting on this side uh, the main purpose for it again is just to kind of coat it so it is camouflage so I won't put a, a heavy a heavy amount of paint um, heavy amount of paint on this um, on this section here but I will paint around it so I'll use the army green basically as the uh, the base for it. Um, what this will do is it'll it'll create a darker base um, and then kind of use this to kind of balance it out later on. Um, and then for anything, yeah, to kind of accent it, I'll use the black and I'll just kind of toss some of these other colors in here as well. There we go. So we'll let that dry for about 10, 15 minutes. So I just taped it off and stuck a tissue paper on the end of that barrel. And we're gonna go ahead and paint. So probably the first layer on there. 
once that thing is dry we'll go ahead and tip it over I'm gonna flip that one over and uh, cover the inside and I'll show what it looks like after I paint it so the current process in there it's pretty good Deal with this. actually to paint the uh, camouflage uh, pattern. So what I did first is basically grabbed um, some tall grass. Um, we don't do mowing around here too often. So I've got some long grass right here. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna use is kind of net, um, a netting pattern. Um, this one is kind of like, it's just a bag. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think I bought, you know, soccer cleats or something like that or or ankle guards and uh, it came with it so all you need is basically a netting pattern um, and I'm going to use that to kind of drape over the uh, you know the scope area um, a little bit on the stock and also the uh, yeah the barrel and then third last but not least is a leaf pattern um, I just kind of went around the, the house and looked for a good set of leaves that I can uh, I can use so this right here you can see I kind of left the long stem in there and the reason for that is I'm going to actually hold it in place and just kind of drape it over the rifle like such and um, throw some paint on there. Alright guys, so I've laid my first pattern here. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see here. Let me get out of the, uh, the light. So that is the net, which is going to be the second part to the base. Alright. And what I did was I went over with, uh, with the net and also the, uh, the black Rust-Oleum paint. going to be the uh, deep forest green
this is what we've got so far after we've painted it on one side. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to flip it over and we're going to do the other side. Alright, so I've painted the other side. What we're going to do next is we're going to use this, uh, this leaf template. And I'm going to go over the leaf template with the khaki. All right, so there it is, folks. The final product of camouflaging. Get the snog here. All right. So it turned out pretty good. There it is. So a little bit of effort and not a whole lot of money. You can actually turn your rifle into something like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, uh, you know, put them down in the comment below. Um, comment, like, subscribe, all the above. All right. There it is.